I'm going to go ahead and save my part and we're going to start off with going through setting up some contours uh, to finish up this part. So I'm going to select contour. Uh, I'm on my solid chaining and I'm going to go ahead and chain all this to the bottom of the floors so that I can actually uh, be able to to program all of this with just one operation. So for the first ones we're going to do is the is these two here so I'm gonna go ahead and select the bottom I'm gonna to need to reverse that chain and I'll select the bottom of that one I'll reverse it as well uh, then I need to get the inside of this pocket so I'll get the pocket there and then for my outer ones I'm gonna turn off my partial loop and I'm gonna use my outer shared edges uh, and once I go and select the pocket you'll see it's just going to grab that inner edge so that one and that one and this one pick that one this one here and notice I am selecting close to where I want it to start so that I am climb cutting out of there and I'm going to go ahead and green check I have all of my finishing passes except for my outer edge so we need to finish that one as well so let's go ahead and go back to a loop and I'll turn that off and I want to just grab the bottom edge of the part so now we can finish everything in one contour operation I'll green check to that for my tool we are going to use the same half inch flat end mill and I'm just going to call this finish passes for my cut parameters I am going to be where and left to my tip I'm going to leave sharp corners, make sure my stock to leave on walls is set to zero. My contour type is just simply going to be a 2D. I don't need any depth cuts. Uh, for my lead in and lead out, uh, we'll go ahead and leave it at 25% uh, is good, 15, 90. Make sure everything on the right is the same. I don't need to break through, no multi passes. For my linking parameters, I already have my clearance plane set 2 inches, retract feed plane my top of stock is actually going to be zero I can verify this by going top of stock pick the top of stock and I'm going to set my depth incremental value to zero that way it finishes to the bottom of the floor everywhere I'll go ahead and green check and it looks like I have all of my finished passes complete that looks pretty good to me so just six tool paths, well, minus one stock, I pretty much got this side of the part completely programmed. So let's move on to our drilling. 